Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to the video. So in this video, we're going to be going over the major breakout that happened last week in the S&P 500 and what that means for the market going forward and also going over the top four trade ideas that I'm watching in the week ahead. As always, there are timestamps in the description. Let's go ahead and get into it. Starting out by taking a look at the S&P futures chart. Last week, we went over how the index was at a key decision point as it was testing the month-long trendline resistance along with the 50-day moving average. So this successfully broke out on Monday and was off to the races for the rest of the week with clean price action above. So going into next week, buyers are back in full control of the trend as long as this breakout holds. So the 50-day moving average now becomes key support, which is at 51.84, and that can act as the key pivot for the trend from here. As long as it holds above, buyers have full control and it's set up for a move back towards all-time highs. Or if it was to fail back below, then this could turn into a failed breakout and start a larger sell. The next key resistance levels above are at 52.40 to 52.47, which is currently being tested, and then 52.72, 53.04, and 53.20 to 53.23 above there. Key supports on the downside are at 51.80 to 51.93, which also lines up with the 50-day moving average, and below there would be a larger downside trigger towards 51.50 to 51.58, and 51.14 to 51.24, along with that trendline back test below there. Alright, so now getting some trade ideas for the week ahead. First up is NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA, which is potentially gearing up for its next leg higher. So we've talked about how this 921 to 924 zone is the key resistance for this stock and can also act as a breakout trigger on a break above there. Last week the stock tested it and then spent the entire week building out a flag slightly below. So this is one to watch for a potential breakout next week which would be triggered by the break above 924 and above there the upside targets would be 946 to 950 and then previous highs above there at 974. Next up, another semiconductor stock to watch is Micron Technology, ticker symbol MU. So the stock just recently broke out of an over two decade long cup and handle pattern above 97.5. So after this gap up and breakout, it held the bottom of the range at 107 after a slight undercut with a strong reaction from buyers and result. If it is able to break and hold above 121.4, which is the resistance that is currently being tested, that can open further upside towards 125 and then previous highs at 130.5 above there. And this could really just be the start of a much larger and longer move just due to how long this pattern has been formed. Over multi-decades, this likely has a lot more to go. And another stock that I'm watching is Toast, ticker symbol T-O-S-T. So this is another stock in a long term pattern as it has built out this more than two year long base that is currently testing the breakout out of. So last week it reported strong earnings which led to a gap and go move which is now testing the top of the range at 26.95 and it has spent the last three trading days being tested. If it's able to break and hold above that level that would trigger the start of the breakout out of this long term base and then it can target 30.8 which would then open further upside on a break above there. One more stock that is a close watch for me in the week ahead is Pfizer, ticker symbol PFE. So this stock has been forming this well-defined consolidation base since late January and is testing the top of the range to set up a potential breakout. If we zoom out on the chart, this 25.75 to 26.5 zone has acted as a key support since 2013 and last week it had a slight undercut slash failed breakdown below it before a strong recovery back above and it is now testing the top of the range at 28.35 to 28.5 and a successful break and hold above there would break out of the current range, which targets $30 per share, which also lines up with the 200-day moving average. And the stock has been below the 200-day moving average for close to a year and a half now, so if it was to reclaim, that would signal a major change of character and likely set up a much larger upside reversal for the stock. If it is able to break above there, those next targets above would be 31.4 and then 33.3 to 34.2. So that is everything that I'm watching for in the week ahead. Thank you guys for watching. For anybody interested in joining the private Discord chat, that is the first link down in the description to get my personal trade alerts, nightly watch lists, and I answer any questions you have in there. So I will catch you all next time. Good luck trading this week, and peace out.